everybody, it's Bunny. Welcome to the third episode of Stalker Saturdays, where I show off all the really awesome mail that you guys have sent me. Normally I do these videos like every other week. I'm like a little bit late um, with this one, uh, but I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I got in the mail. I love getting letters and pictures and drawings and all kinds of fun stuff from you guys. So I hope you're all having a happy Saturday. Okay, let's just jump right into the mail. I put all my mail that I've gotten from you guys for like three weeks in one gigantic box. The first piece of mail I actually got from Captain Tanel here on YouTube. She sent me a quite handsome photograph of a very, very lovely looking gentleman. So isn't this lovely? I think he's pretty uh, gorgeous. I always try and like kind of maybe like think up a little storyline for all these dead people that I collect. I wonder if he was like a gambler or something of the sort because I don't know if this if this will show up on the camera but he's wearing a lapel pin that's a horseshoe and it looks maybe like it I don't know it kind of looks like it's shimmering a little bit so I wonder if it was like a diamond horseshoe like lapel pin kind of feel like he should have put it the other way because you're supposed to put horseshoes like that and not like that because if you hang them like that all the luck runs out if you hang them like that you catch all the luck so in addition to the photograph she also sent me a letter and I love reading letters so uh, thank you so much Heather um I think I'm gonna frame him and hang him up in my room so you guys might see him again once I do a room tour eventually it's gonna happen. One day I'm gonna do it. My next thing of mail comes from Amanda. This is actually in a box. Um, her YouTube channel is This Is Not A Game 08, or her boyfriend's channel is Jeremiah Chinese. And she promises me that there's a video on his channel that involves elves, milk, and vomit. I think I need to go check it out. She sent me this box, and let me tell you, there is nothing more exciting than checking my P.O. box, like after a couple days of not checking my P.O. box, when you guys send me boxes. Uh, because they leave me all these, like, keys in my P.O. box, and it's just like an Easter egg hunt or something, because I'm like, oh, 3375819, let me unlock that box. Okay, 274, let me unlock that box. And it's just great. It's a great experience. She sent me some super fun stuff, I'll have you know. She found all this stuff at the thrift store and y'all already know I love thrift stores. The very first thing she found was this cute like button down Halloween shirt. Isn't this adorable? She sent me a very cute Halloween card with a little black cat and a jack-o-lantern and I really like it. She sent me tons of really cute Halloween goodies by the way. Like look at this box. It's a coffin with a skeleton on the top and it's like a little plastic box that you can put your stuff in. I think I'm going to keep earrings in here. Earrings. This looks like a good earring coffin. And inside of here she sent me like a really cute Mardi Gras bead necklace but it's got this skull on it. A marshmallow skull pop and you better believe I'm gonna be eating this. It looks so cute yet delicious. Anytime somebody sends me a marshmallow candy though, I have been resisting the urge to poke this. You know, it's like when somebody gives you a box of peeps at Easter and you're like, peep, peep, and you just like keep stabbing the peeps. That's, or is, or is that just me? So this is super cool in my opinion. I know some of you might be offended and what such might have you. Um, she sent me this really awesome, like it's the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, Dia de, Dia de los Muertos style of skulls, and I think this little bag is gorgeous. It's like a drawstring, um, type bag, and I'm actually gonna start carrying this around in my purse, and, like, putting, like, my phone and my keys in here, because, like, anytime I'm carrying my bag, like, my phone and my keys always get, like, 
thrown about. So I know if I put them in this little drawstring bag that they'll always like be there. Anyway, um, so inside the drawstring bag, and I'm sorry if this is like offensive to some of you guys, um, I was waiting when somebody was gonna send me a dead animal in the mail. Once again, I do wear furs, but I only wear vintage or like pre-worn slash maybe slightly falling apart furs. I actually do have a collection of these. They're usually made out of minks or foxes and they're called stone martins. They were very very popular um, from the 20s like to about the 40s. They put clips in their mouths because um, you're supposed to wear them like around your neck and then you take this one and you clip it like to the butt end of this one. I have like three other stone martins but I've just never shown them to you guys yet because normally people are just like bunny why 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 do you do it um but it's not like I support the fur industry or like ever have bought a new fur in my life I'm just like okay well like you know I didn't do it I don't have anything to do with it um but I feel like I'd rather wear these awesome antique pieces than just like let them rot you know. And then in the bottom of the box, she actually, um, she filled it with like all these Halloween goodies. And I'm going to make some really cool new ornaments for my Halloween Christmas tree with like these skeletons. Thank you so much, Amanda. I definitely love the treasures that you sent me. The next thing of mail I got comes from Corey or Hell is for Children here on YouTube. We've been like long-term friends here on YouTube. I got some really cool goodies in the mail from her. She sent me a nice little letter first off and she sent me some of the Fantasy Makers little tombstone nail polish and in all honesty I tried to buy this from my grocery store and I bought the glow in the dark one first and then I tried to go back and get this one which is like a black polish with purple glitter flecks in it um it's called purple potion actually but they were sold out of this one so i didn't get it and then you sent it into the mail to me and it was such a happy moment the next thing she sent me was a really awesome halloween bat shirt and this black shirt is so soft so comfy um i might actually use it for jam jams sometimes too it's got these embroidered bats on the front on the back it has more embroidered bats and they're like flying away on a big happy orange moon. She sent me a really cool scarf. I love scarves. I collect scarves. She said it reminded her of like a ghost a ghostly shroud and I'm totally right there with you on that one. Like I just kind of want to like walk around and wear it like this in public. I think I could do it. I really do. I could just be like, what's up guys? I need some pizza. The next thing that she sent me that was really cool and I've actually started reading it is a book and it's called The Most Haunted House in England. It's a wonderful bedtime storybook, really. It comes from the Collector's Library of the Unknown. Collector's Library of the unknown. The last thing she sent me, some of you have already seen, I was wearing this earring in my Halloween stories video, but it is adorable. It is like a little dangly skeleton earring. Um, she actually, of course, sent me like a set of earrings, but I just brought one to show you guys because, you know, I generally just wear one earring at a time. I had a pair of these um, when I was a little kid and I've lost them. So I was so glad to get these because it's like you sent me my childhood back. For real. Thank you so much, Corey. Y'all go check out her channel right now. She has up some videos about like her bright atomic neon red hair. It's really impressive. So I just saw she uploaded that one yesterday. The next piece of mail I got comes from Candy Mandy 19 here on YouTube. And she sent me a adorable little bag of skeletons. Like they're these skeleton charms. She just sent them loose to me like this so I could turn them into earrings or necklaces or like a bracelet or whatever I wanted to do. If y'all watched my outfit of the day purity ring video, then you saw I was wearing this little silver skeleton earring. I think they're super duper cute, by the way. So thank you for that. Um, in addition to the little baggie of skeletons, she also sent me a very, very nice letter. And just like me, you know, like my name is Bunny. So her friends actually nicknamed her either Panda or Wolf or sometimes Panda the Wolf. And I kind of like imagine like a panda maybe in a 
in like a in like a wolf hat and it's pretty cool i wish we could see that in nature that would be awesome so the next piece of mail i got comes from miss curvy kinsey here on youtube and she sent me a really adorable ghost card isn't this cute like his eyes are like so you can see her handwriting through his little eyeballs right there. So she actually makes these little clay charms and uh, what have you. And it's, it's really exciting. The first thing she sent me was like a little panda bear charm. And I think it's so cute. She made me this little container. Um, and it's so cute. It's got a bat on it and a skull and a little purple heart. And everyone knows that lavender is my favorite color. Like lavender and black. But inside of this little box is the real surprise. Are y'all ready for this? She made me out of like this little clay. Isn't this cute? <laughs> I love keychains. Y'all don't even know. Now that I've shown it to you guys in this video, I'm going to go put it on my keychain right away. Yeah. Um, it's so, so cute. So thank you so much, Kinsey. So in addition to her YouTube channel here, she also has a Facebook shop called Miss Kawaii Kinsey. So she does like custom made jewelry and stuff like that. So if you want some custom made goodies, you can get some there. So like I usually do with my Stalker Saturday videos, the links to everybody's channels and their um, online stores and everything will be in the info box. So if you wanna check anything out, like I have it like really clearly listed so you'll be able to tell who is who. So go check her out if you like the little goodies that she sent me. The next piece of mail I got is from Kim Possible 1084 here on YouTube. And she's also known as the Painted Pinup Blog on Facebook. But she sent me this really awesome, like, ghost card. And I don't know how much this translates into the camera, but it's like one of those moving kind of hologram images. So it's like a bunch of ghosts in a graveyard. I think that's really awesome. She sent me a really cute Invader Zim bow, and it's purple and green. So it's like perfect for Halloween time or someone who lives in a perpetual state of Halloweenness. And she sent me this little skeleton like bobblehead guy full of candy. She also sent me some really cool like lightning bolt Lady Gaga. You, you stick them on, they're like stickers, but they're made for your skin. Um, so I totally just would legit wear one of these, like, you know, maybe, maybe not on my face like Lady Gaga did, but I'd probably like wear one on my arm or something like that. I'd totally do it for sure. Hi guys. Hi guys. Thank you so much, Kimberly. I definitely enjoyed the little skeleton, a little card. It's so cute. My next piece of mail comes from one of my UK subscribers, Sazzy UK 2610 and she sent me some really, really cute Halloween stuff. The card that she even sent me was like really unique. It comes in a fabric envelope and like, did you make this yourself? I'd like to know because it's really awesome. Um, so it's this orange spiderweb fabric and it even had this little star and she wrote my name on it and I had to like untie it to open the card. And the card is really super cute, like ghosts, in Haunted Mansion. Um, she wrote me a really adorable letter. Um, and there's like a little ghost down here too. She sent me some really cute Halloween goodies, like a foam jack-o'-lantern. I think I'm gonna put him on my Christmas tree. She sent me like some bats and some skeletons, which are always good because I can never have enough of these. Literally, like I would like, I don't know. I'm gonna probably like do something really cool with all these like plastic skeletons I have like this. Um, I collect skeletons and plastic skeletons of all different kinds. She sent me these two little bow tie necklaces and they're pretty unique and pretty cute, I have to say. Um, they're not bow ties, but they're like neckties. Um, but you like wear them, you know, on a necklace and then it looks like a little tie. Uh, so they're lace. So there is like the cream and black colored one. And then I have one that's just solid black. But I thought those were really cute. I've never seen anything like that before. Then she sent me some like Halloween caution tape. And I totally think I'm gonna save this for my windows next year for Halloween. I think I'm gonna like wrap them over my windows. I think that would be like really cool looking. I have to say my favorite thing that she sent me though is this little living dead doll in a little coffin. And I know that these are like collectible, um, but I'm like that kid that can't not open a doll or a toy. Like if it gets sent to me, like I'm like, I'm going to open it. I think I'm going to turn her into a little ornament for my Christmas tree because she's absolutely adorable. Like she's wearing these roller skates. 
Um, and she's got a little tutu on and like little pink hair and like she's like bleeding at the mouth and stuff. It's it's really cute and I think this would be great on my Christmas tree. So I just opened it and I'm going to use it as an ornament. Thank you so much Sarah for sending me that mail. It's super cool and super fun indeed. Piece of mail for this episode of Stalker Saturdays comes from Canada and actually from a YouTube user on here named Candace Melrose. She like decorated the paper wrapper that she sent my box in, so cute. Like she drew this ghost and he's saying happy Halloween. And then um, where she put my name and everything, she like drew me a little graveyard. So I saved the paper. I saved the paper that y'all send me to. Like I cut it out a lot neater, um, but I put it in the box with all of my letters. This stuff means a lot to me from you guys. Y'all don't even know. She put a lot of lavender paper in there because it's my favorite color. She actually made me the little card that she sent and it's like a skull and crossbones out of some black paper. I thought that was pretty cool. I feel like these are totally goodies that she sent me that I'm going to decorate my Halloween Christmas tree with. Like this one is already an ornament, totally. Um, this green glitter skull, he's also going on my tree. Um, but look, he came like shipped in this fashion like his little legs all like crumpled up in this box i think it's adorable it's an awesome black glitter skeleton he's super cool hi youtube hi hi she sent me some spooky socks um so socks with little ghosts on them she sent me a skull bracelet this is totally something i'd wear all the time it's just like skells skells what are skulls? She sent me two bottles of OPI nail polish. And these are actually colors that I don't have yet and I'm really jazzed about. This is a lovely gray color and it's called Skull, Skulls and Gloss Bones. Skull and, and Gloss Bones. This one I've never even seen before, but I'm so excited to put it on. I think I'm gonna wear it today, actually. Um, it's called Zombody to Love, so like a zombie. Um, but it's green and she told me on Twitter that it even glows in the dark, so I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And then the last thing she sent me is some really cute nail art. Um, and there's actually two sheets of nail art in here, but it's all like Halloween creepy type stuff like bats and spider webs and skulls. Um, so one sheet is like white nail art and then one sheet is the same little pictures but like black nail art. Thank you so much for sending me mail. The last thing that I want to show you guys really quick is an awesome drawing that I got from Justine or the 13th Juggalette here on YouTube. She drew a lovely picture of me and she did it all in like pencils and shading and I think it's really really awesome. I'm super appreciative to any of you guys who like draw me you know just for fun. My friend saw this the other day and was like dang she's got some skills. Uh, girl you got some skills. So I think it's really really cool so thank you so much for drawing me and then sending me the drawing. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Cannot ever thank any of you guys enough. As always, if you want to send me some mail, my address is listed in the info box of this video. Also, it's listed on my main channel page, like right above where you would leave me a channel comment. My address in my PO box is right there. So if you just want to like send me a letter um, or like, you know, maybe like an illustration or something cool, uh, feel free to do that. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. As usual, if you want, please take a moment to subscribe. You can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter at pretty vacant. And I will see you guys later. Bye.